we are in the 14th most popular city in Texas, which is Amarillo. Its original name is called Onida, and it's called the helium capital of the world because of its productive helium fuels. Right now, we are crossing the historical railroad bridge, which is very famous. As you can see, there's a train over there. There's also a famous Santa Fe building in Amarillo, Texas. You can also check that too. And right now, you will see where we're going in this video. Palo Duro Canyon State Park. It is the second most largest state canyon in the whole United States. In this video, we're going to show us our experience and the things to do here. So they also have zip lining, so you can just zip line across the whole canyon. You have to make a reservation to go on the zip line. It's open Saturday and Sunday, and it's in the like in the the building is in the beginning before entering the Palo Duro Canyon. So yeah, you can check it out. When we went there, it was closed because of COVID. The, the Palo Duro Canyon is only 30 minutes away from the city, and right now we're entering the Palo Duro Canyon State Park. So, the, you gotta get a ticket, like a lot of other parks, you gotta have to get a ticket, so you can purchase a ticket. I was reading a book the whole time, and while Rhea was just playing, <laughs> see she's laughing, I don't know why she's laughing. Yeah, she's saying shh, when, when it's always quiet, she's saying shh, for no reason. So the entry free for adults is eight dollars. They have a weather check, and you can see that. See the, and then they have the people who will give you a ticket, and then you have to stick this. They'll give you a paper that you can stick on your car window, and they also have a map to make sure to keep it safe because you might get lost because there's lots of trails. So you've got to use that map. They also give you a weather check. Don't forget to check the weather before you go because it might be really hot. So right now we're driving in. It looks so beautiful. This is basically, it's they call it the Grand Canyon of Texas, but I will also admit, yeah, it looks a lot like the Grand Canyon. Except the Grand Canyon has barely any trees. This one has lots of trees under. So it has lots of wildlife too. Yeah, make sure to watch out for roadrunners, coyotes. There's a few of them. So make sure you watch out for those. You might spot some cool animals. And then they have a visitor center. And they have a gift shop, museum, and some other places. So we went to the, we went to the museum. They had some dinosaur fossils. I loved it. So when you enter the Palo Duro Canyon, the most famous trail, the CCC Trail, is there. And also there's this, there's this place that you can look over. This is the CCC Trail. They have a map. And they also have like safety first. You just have to make, if you want to go on the trail, there's just basic rules. You have to bring water. Make sure you get lots of water because it's very hot. We went in early September. It's still burning hot. Okay, and then the, it's made by these, these people. The CCC trail is only a walking trail, so you can only go hiking because it's very slow. And you can just, there's some other trails that you can go horse riding and you can also go biking. So, as you can see, there's a beautiful place that's above the canyon. So, if you're taking your kids, look, as you can see, there's no border over there. So, your kid will just run. So, make sure you always be careful and it's very steep. I just, me and Rhea just dance. We started dancing because you're in the car for a long time. So we started to just dance because we wanted to get some stretches. So make sure you be very careful in this Palo Duro Canyon. As you can see, it's very beautiful. My me and my sister were very amazed by this beautiful canyon. It's basically the Grand Canyon that just came to us. The Palo Duro Canyon is 120 miles long and it is 20 miles wide. It has... It's, it's, its rim is 3,500 feet above the sea level. That is very big. There are some boards about the different, different trails you can go. So you can go check those out. And there's some other famous trails like the Lighthouse Trail, the Gibbons Trail, the Spicer Trail, the Lowry Trail. And they're very long, but we didn't go for any of them because we thought it would be very long. Wow, look at this beautiful view. It looks so beautiful. That place over there is called the Spanish Skirt because it looks a little bit like a skirt. 
and looks very beautiful. This is a very good place to see the sunrise. She goes to dance class, so she got so happy that she started to dance in front of the visitor center. My me and my parents loved it. It was so beautiful. <laughs> so I took a video of it, and this is the visitor center and the gift shop. Don't just get your souvenir and get out of the gift shop. Make sure you go in because there is a beautiful museum and there's a beautiful window that you can see the view of the kingdom. So you can also see from there, and then they have, this is part of the museum, those main artists, beauty, yeah. And then they have some mineral that they found, so this is very beautiful, I was very interested in this. So if you're very interested in geology, make sure you come here and check out these cool stones. They have these big telescopes and these big windows. The telescope is free, you don't have to pay a quarter. You can just look through it and it'll show it really good. They have these cool rocks and they have Jurassic fossils from the Jurassic period of the dinosaurs. It's really cool. They had this dinosaur mouth, you can see it over there. They also have some fish bones. So it's pretty cool. The, I like the museum the most because they had some cool creatures. And look, they also have some rocks. The rocks look pretty cool. If I brought my friend with me, he would have loved it. They were really cool rocks. I never knew they would have so much types of rocks in just one canyon. It looks so cool. I don't even know how they found dinosaurs and ancient Indians here. And they also have the layers. As you can see, the Jurassic Perimian. And then... I don't know how to spell Perimian, but then they have this hawk, it's cool hawk, and then they have these animal bones, not dinosaur, and they have some more animal bones, and then they have these fake animals, they look so realistic, but they're actually fake, and I never knew that those animals would live in the Palador Canyon, and then you can see there's a list of animals and plants that live here, so you can just check that out, it has the names of them, so there's some wildflowers, and then in this section, they have just like the types of wood that are in the canyon. I like the one that looks like the monoculars. 
They have two heads. And they have some cool birds. My favorite bird is the Roadrunner. I never seen a Roadrunner here, but I saw one in the zoo on a trip. So we also make sure to share a video of that so you can keep watching. So they have reptiles, they have rattlesnakes, so be careful with your step. And then there's some other animals, as you can see over there. They even have bats, a canyon. I thought there was only bats in caves. And then as you can see here, there's this cool American Indian thing. And then they have the tools that they use. And then there's a the picture, and then that's a long horn skull. And then they have some cool pictures. And then they have cultures. They have, hunt, they have how they hunt, and then they have the history of that, so you can just check that out. And, and just so you know, there's a restroom in the gift shop. So right now, we are going on the drive down the canyon. It goes like around and around down the canyon. It was very cool. You can see the canyon very well if you look down the sides. As you're going down, you should enjoy the canyon ride, because you will see the full beauty of this whole canyon when you're going down. So you can see like the whole canyon. amphitheater but they canceled all the 2020 shows because of covid but they do have some musical festivals you have to check their website for it it is called texas outdoor musical website so you can check that out and find out the upcoming shows so you can know when to go and what show you can watch when you go there now we are going towards the lighthouse trail lighthouse trail that seems like it will be very beautiful as you can see there's a rock formation I can't believe that was a rock formation because it looks so beautiful look at it, it looks like a I don't think it's a rock formation I'm pretty sure someone built it, it looks so beautiful but we didn't go there because when we went there when we entered my mom asked about the lighthouse trail they said um it's not recommended for kids because they said that each day, one person is rescued from the lighthouse trail because of dehydration or no shade. There is completely no shade. They said at least you need minimum one gallon of water. They also have a temperature thing, so you have to check the temperature so you can check the temperature before you go. And it's very dangerous. Some people, so you have to get lots of water for each person. You need at least one gallon for water first, and you also need some sun protection because it's going to be heat. And not only you need one gallon, so do your, your pets. And by the way, you can see the you can see the lighthouse over there. I don't think you can see it, but it's all the way over there in the between those two gaps. So it's right there. This trial is six miles, so I recommend you plan and get ready before you go 
make sure you have enough water for each person because it is a very no shade tribe. So it might be very dangerous. So you better get ready. And also, you have to plan for like after, like in the morning, like very early morning when it's really cool. So right now we are in our drive going into the canyon. On the way going into the canyon, you can see some campgrounds. Geocatch is like a game, like treasure hunt. And you can see some bird watching areas. And you can go to like some places that you can study about the nature. And they also have horseback riding. They have a thousand five hundred acres just for horseback riding. That's a lot. You can either bring your horse or you can ride on a horse. Like someone else's horse. And then, and they also have some picnic areas where you can just grab your snack and then just eat there if you want a small rest or break, you can just do that. While we were on our drive, we saw some horseback riding, and it was, it was closed because of COVID-19. That's pretty sad. It's a one-hour guided tour. It is $60 per rider. You can see that. And you have to be less than 235 LBS. And then you can see there's a sign that says horseback riding and souvenirs. So there's a small gift shop, and there's some picnic tables. So you can just sit there, and then we, we thought it, it would be pretty much not cool if we hadn't went on a trial we hadn't won any trials so we just found a small trial so we just walked in it and then we found this big hill that we wanted to climb and it seemed pretty safe so me and my sister were just climbing it i felt me and my sister found some sticks i was hitting the ground trying to get some rocks out it was pretty beautiful view but when we're trying to walk as you can see you can see me and Rhea up there so me and my me Rhea and my dad all tried to climb up I made it. My dad made it first because he was wearing the best shoes. And I made it second because I also had ten tennis shoes. So I, I got the right shoes. But my sister made it up last because she had flip flops. So she started to flip and flop. Actually, flip and flop. <laughs> so flip flops actually mean flip and flop when you're actually trying to climb it. See, as you can see, I am climbing pretty well. My dad's up there already. And then she's over there. <laughs> The bottom with their sticks. <laughs> you say, come here, I mean, I'm... And then she's just trying to climb up. I'm going to climb up. And then I'm like, okay, and come. And I climb, and I climb, and I climb, climb, climb. And then I go to get her shoe. And I climb, and I climb, climb, climb. So I had to go down to get her shoe. And then all of us made it up there. But... When we're coming down, and I made it, and bye bye. So when we we're coming down, it was really funny because I came down first because I was just running down the whole hill, and then do you guess how my, and me and I win the race? And me, okay, guess how my sister and my dad came down. I know. Pause the video and try to think. If you know it, just post it in the comments. As you can see, my sister put. Asked my dad to hold her stick, and then my dad went down, and all they did was nothing except each one of them holded one side of the stick and came down. We hope you liked this video about the Power to Your Canyon. We hope we did good in our video. And make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Bye! See you in the next video!